Okay, so this is the video on that new weapon that you get for hunting the Kuvalich guy. And once you hunt him, depends on what kind of everybody get different weapon, different stats. Well, it's gonna look the same and the name's gonna be similar, but it's gonna have different stats. If you start Loki, you get the radiational damage. If you start with Loki, that's the one I started with, and so I got the radiational damage. Well, I captured the first one, the second one I killed, so I can try out his weapon. Even though I'm not a big fan of uh, primary weapons, but anyways, here we go. Another thing, this weapon's only level seven, and I'm going up against 150 level enemies, so it's gonna look like it's not that strong, but it's actually really strong. Okay, there we go. Watch it. It's actually a really powerful weapon. The stats on this weapon are kind of ridiculous, like really ridiculous stats on it. Just one one mod uh, one critical chance mod gives you gets you to 125 critical chance. So once you level this weapon up, it could be really powerful. Anyways, I'll show you the stats right now. Did not make it. I'll show you the stats right now. So where are you at? Yeah, right here. Uh, this without the size, yeah, 50% critical chance, 2.3 times crit multiplier, uh, 27 status chance, right? And then you base stats, you uh, because I was doing the radiation build weapons, so was I because I wanted the weapon for Edelon since Chechikom was Kachikom got nerfed, so uh, it has 171 radiation damage at base, also, also has blast damage as well and impact. What's really interesting that you have such a high critical chance and a status, decent amount of status chance as well, which is really good, right? So, just by putting one critical chance mod crit, uh, punch strike, you automatically jump to 125 critical chance. That's a lot of critical chance. Uh, now, here we go. This is my build right now because remember, it's I'm just leveling up, I have not leveled it up yet. Because I'm probably gonna forget to make a video on this. Because, like I said, I don't really play primary or secondary weapons. It's only melee for me. Anyways, really powerful. It's like holy crap, those stats. This is probably the most powerful weapons right now in the game. I have not seen any other weapon who has a that can do damage damage that can decent amount of fire rate for this type of damage right and you have 11 bullets as well and a magazine you can always put the magazine or fire rate mod if you want to beef that up but you have such a high critical chance such a high status chance and ridiculous damage right so you once you level up you could probably take this to like hunt edelon or something because you have radiation damage at base and if you beefed up the radiation damage right uh, uh, what was it? It was heat and electricity. Was that it? Yeah, it was heat and electricity radiation. But anyways, if you are a fan of primary weapons, this is going to be your main now. This is probably the, the most powerful weapons in the games right now. These types of weapons, and you have different elements for them as well. And also, depending on what we're going to start the mission with, yeah, they feel good too. It feels really nice to shoot them, you know? It's like... I don't like the way they look at all. They look like some kind of a steampunk universe weapons, you know, some kind of weird looking gas weapons or something that you have to actually pump them up to shoot them. That's the way they look like. Well, hopefully some skins come out that fix that. But but yeah, they do a lot of damage and they feel nice. They feel really nice. That's it for the review.